G'day, my name is Tony and today we are going to talk about making a cosplay weapon. So I don't really like all the swords and flimsy um, uh, weapons. What I want to do this time is a big, fat two-hand mace, a solid one, one that's heavy to carry and one that would make some some damage. Something like, like this, I guess. This is just a quick drawing. But based on this, I found a couple of things. I found a big stick in the back of my garden. It's nice and solid, so I can polish that. I can cut it to length, polish that, maybe put some details with um, with that EVA foam. And for the block, for the head, I found a nice block of wood that I will clean up, tidy up, wrap around with foam, make some detail, put a locking mechanism. To attach it and build from there so what i'm going to do i'm going to sand this clean it up make it nice and square i'm going to cut this to length and polish it and that's where we'll start right so i don't have a belt sander or anything electrical so i used rock sanding block with some um, quite um, coarse grit well, that was some 80 grit to a sandbox. This does, didn't need to be really nicely sanded, it doesn't matter, it's, it's going to be covered by, um, by foam. This however, I gave a full uh, cut to length, with an edge at the end to be the bottom, and this to attach the head, and it's a nice, you got a nice feel with it, I could beat something up. Um, it's really hard, it's beautiful wood, um, so it's sanded, I'll fill in all the gaps, because it's an old piece of wood. And uh, once it's all filled, I'll uh, varnish it. And then I'll put something for the handles. Off we go. So I'm um, filling all the gaps in that little piece of wood. It feels so much better than any other any other material could have. Um, this feels real, you know. It's not like any piece of plastic or even, I thought, like a broomstick or something. No, this is the real deal. Um, so I'm filling all the little gaps with uh, some um, timber mate, some wood, water-based wood filler that I had uh, at home from previous Renaults. God knows, this is really old, so it's really dry. But it works, and it just fills in. So obviously there's way too much there, but like that I'll be able to sand it and uh, make it all smooth again. But it's working good. See you in a bit. All right, so this guy has dried pretty much all night and we're now the following day. Um, I've, it was a bit rough, so I've sanded it again with some fairly fine paper now. This is 360 grit and it's starting to look really nice. It's very soft, it look, it's as soft as a baby's bum, but much cleaner. And it is really cool, it's really cool. So it's still got some, some dust on it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this old rag, wet it a bit and see, look at that. This is beautiful. It's got veins in there now. So I'll, I'll clean that up completely later on, but this is going to be a nice, nice piece. Um, once it's all clean, I might give it a quick sand to finish and then I'll put some sort of lacquer or varnish or something on it to um, hold it like that. Now, regarding the head, I've changed my mind a bit. I had that block of one block of white, but I scrapped that and instead I took three blocks. I took a long shaft that I had in the garden, <laughs> plenty of things in the garden, and I cut it to shape and I, glued, I, I nailed three bits together. And then I chopped the bits to give it a bit of a, you know, Thor's hammer sort of shape. And it's nice and heavy. It'll be it'll be heavy to carry, but I made a hole so I can put that oh, the stick in there. Give it a nice big hammer. And um, I'll have to define how I want to fix it. I'll probably put a screw across or something, end glue, end stuff. But now that I have this, um, I need to fill in all the gaps again. So I'm going to use the same sort of timber mate filler and make it nice and smooth. It's reasonably smooth already. 
Um, getting to this point took quite a bit of effort because I don't have any electric tools, so I used a handsaw, a hacksaw, and a lot of um, elbow grease. But it's it's getting there. It's getting there. It's a good size as well. All right. Now I'm gonna fill it up, and I'll come back to you once it's done. Something that I forgot to say is that I'm going to try and make it look like metal, but directly from the wood. I'm not going to cover it with um, EVA foam because it's already big enough and I can probably get that wood to look like something shiny. If I can't do it, then I'll cover it with foam and, and uh, go from there. But at the moment, I'm going to try and work directly on the wood. So I've now decided what I want my hammer to uh, look like. The shaft just had a coat of uh, deck oil and is uh, drying uh, before I put either a second coat or maybe a clear varnish. Um, and the head uh, should look something like this. Um, so I've got the head here. I spent a lot of time cutting some blocks into points. This one there and this one sharper here, the armor piece piercer. They will go at the end of the hammer here and here. I've also cut some strips of, um, of foam to make like the, the straps around the hammer head. And I'm also going to cut this guy out of foam. That's the sigil of an old guild I used to play WoW with. Um, anyway, and it's on, going to be on everything. Um, so I'll cut this and put it, stamp it on the side of the hammer. And then I'll paint the whole lot, keep those straps a little bit darker and maybe put a point at the bottom of the shaft and that'll be it I think I've now attached the two pieces of wood, the two spikes, onto the head and I've started putting some of the force bands around, this is just foam um, and the shaft is still drying from the from the clear um, the clear varnish now this still needs to have the sigil applied to it so it looks like that and then the second force band and on the band I'll probably put some rivet heads to look like screws or something. And uh, then it'll be a question of painting it all and aging it. And attaching the shaft. And then we'll be done. And we'll have a massive two-hand hammer. So I got a little bit carried away and I attached the whole thing together. So you can see the straps, you can see the, the sigil, the points the shaft is nice and shiny this thing is about four kilos four kilos altogether uh, i've attached this shaft with a lot of glue and i put a screw as well so it doesn't rotate the points have a couple of um little metal bars in them so that they don't move either and they're nice and solid i've added some googly eyes because everything's better with googly eyes but jokes apart that'll be covered in uh, in paint and it'll look like um rivet rivets rivet heads um, so now I need to put a guard here. I need to put a guard at the bottom of the shaft. I need to paint the whole head silver. Hopefully it'll look metalish enough. And then I'll be ready to crack some skulls. So I tried painting the, the head completely in, in metal color, but um, that didn't really work out so well. Um, even after a couple layers, we could still see the grit of the wood quite quite a lot. Uh, even though I sanded it and gap filled and everything several times, but I think this is going to require more than like eight nine times to actually look like metal. So I scrapped that because there's no way I'm going to do it nine times. And I decided to do the head as wood. So I painted it back in in a more brownish color, like wood color, and it looks something like this, which I think is quite quite nice. I left the spike as silver because it kind of works. The bands, the sigil is all is all silver. This is foam, this is foam, foam as well. The googly eyes are still there, but you can't tell. And I've got a hammer that's quite neat, I think. Now the shaft is a bit clearer than the head, so I'm going to try and darken the shaft a little bit. And then I'll put a clear coat on everything, and then we'll be done. Now I um still need to put a few things on the shaft I don't know what maybe a probably a, a, a rope to be able to carry it on my back as I like uh, walk around but otherwise yeah fairly happy it's a decent size as well like it's like that's not a small hammer and it's heavy 
God. Have to be careful. I don't have much ceiling height in there here, but it's a good it's a good hammer. The hammer's now finished, and I have to say, it looks smashing, pun intended. Um, I've put a bit more paint everywhere. I've added some grips on the shaft, a bit of a guard at the end as well. And it's it's a nice piece. It's all made of wood, uh, apart from the little details like that that are foam and cloth. I've chose this color because it's the same colors as the tabard I made as well. Um, and yeah, it was a fun build. It is a pretty cool hammer and it would do some real damage if, we, uh, if I ever got to use it on something or someone. Um, pretty much it. Yeah, then next what I'll probably do at some point is try and devise something to uh, strap it on my back to carry around uh, in costume, but that's going to be for another video. Um, that's it. If you liked this build, then uh, subscribe, share with your friends, and in the meantime, keep creating.